Hey guys, this is Solo and Droid from Impact Airsofting. I just want to give you a review of my ScarL made by Echo One Six Nasty Gun. First, I just want to pop the clip. It is a. Go ahead and tell you. Hi, right, so pass me the mic for a sec. This is a 120 round P Mag mid cap with 10 Magpul. For those if you quick... would like to see a clip of the Mag toss, you would see in our. Video six, what? which will be on our channel. Is it video six? Somewhere. Just yeah. watch all of our videos, and if it's not yeah. the video, keep looking. Yeah. All right. If it's on the videos, keep looking, and remember to like that video. And you'll probably, if you like it, you'll probably be able to see it. So make sure to do that. But these things are great. 120 rounds. It's mid cap, and it looks sexy in the gun because it has all those rivets. Next, I have a six-inch mock suppressor. Made by Venom. Made by Venom, which suppresses the sound of my gun. I'll zoom in and on it that. Makes. Right here. Alright. Okay, next I want to go over an ACOG stationary sight. I am pretty sure. Yep. Which is quick detach. And that's the UTG. Pops off like that and bring it up. Quick detach. And it's a red and green mill dot, so we'll see if we can get that on video because it's mm -hmm. pretty bright out. Wait, I'll put my hand here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's kinda, it. yeah, kind of hard to see. Now full green. Green, you'll probably be able to see. See the green? Yeah, that dot right there. That's the mill dot. So yeah. Right. So it works good when you're on the field. The thing that I would it's do is get a. Just over here. You gotta get a um, raised mount for it. And I'm sweating. It sits oh. too low, and I can't see from my back. <coughs> from my rear sight. I'm just gonna take this off. Just a regular M4. Rear sight. It's regular M4. Next, I have my. Where is it? My survival bracelet. I put it on my gun for some reason, but it's eight feet of power cord. Which has nothing to do with the gun. It's just nothing to do. Them. It's just that on. If you are drowning in water, you can untangle that, throw it, and pull yourself up. Next, if that was possible, there is a 250 lumen. Light, which is made by UTG. UTG is a very good company. That's where we buy most of our stuff from. Yeah. Next, I got a standard scar H O N L. It's a bipod foregrip. But it's up great. Like that. It's nice. It's durable, and you get the job done. Yeah, I want to take that off at the end of the video, pretty much, and that, show you guys what it does. Yeah, because that just holds up the. This is gun. my front metal sight. Which has a built in laser on it. So, the board wants to take it and show you. Okay, one sec. Alright, so this is a UTG front sight, which is, because it, as you can see, UTG right there. Stamped logo. And this has a built in laser, which is great. Oh, much better. Yeah, because it um, helps you look down range without having to look on your sight if you have to turn a corner. And this 250 lumen UTG light. Blind anybody in, your in path. a 700 foot radius. Yes, that thing's bright as hell. Yeah. We, we went straight for some lights up an entire hallway with these. Next, I got a PEQ box, which has a humongous pressure pad that goes off like that. And would you zoom in on this? Yep, I'll keep in the tripod closer so we can get a better view. This in right here. Right there. Okay, this is set to zero, that means nothing's on. Move it back one, that is a green laser. Then you move it up from the zero up one, that's just the light. And up one is just the laser. I don't know that's why like, they have two like laser sights. Laser. Yeah. Double beam. We don't, uh, like with the mirror on, comes a little mirror for the front. Which that may yeah, I took it off because it has like four dots. You see it's like one, two, three, four. And you don't know where you're aiming at, so I did not like that. And it also came with a thing, like a cover for the light. But it was a little tiny circle that didn't let the light through. And if you go one more, that's the light and laser. So. I'm going to go get that music turned off while you guys, while you just do a quick overview of everything. And like show them all the stickers and everything. 
you guys can see this, this is the laser part and the light. I don't want to take that off because it's hard to. And these are stickers that came with the PEQ box. Let's see if I can get it. This danger laser. Put it on. I thought it would look cool. Uh, just a few. And you guys might be wondering why there is no dust cover in here. Because Droid got it for me. And the dust cover right here was broken. So I just took the whole thing out. I think it looks much cooler like that. Right. Cool this story. Is how you put the battery in. Yeah. And the, he made a modification, which I'll show you in a second. But a funny story is when he was in Strike Force, um, he. Ow. That's hot. This thing's hot. Sorry, no. But he was in Strike Force, and um, I got turned a corner, and he shot, and the BB traveled through the little holes that he made in the gun, yes. which is so cool. <laughs> He literally traveled right through it. It was pretty sexy. And the modification? The modification I did, because this stock would only take 8.4. And I tried to fit my nunchuck in here, it did not work. So, you can just see in our takedown video of what it is. If we do put that up, because it was a very long video, we might not be putting it up, but we don't know yet. But basically, he drilled out a hole to make it larger. Yeah, in the back. And I just want to show you. The Fugger. Yeah. It's just a foregrip. That and there's a little button right back here. Press that. Bipod sticks out. So that concludes our video. This good review of the Echo One Scarlet Mod Zero SOCOM gear. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has enjoyed and solo from Impact Airsofting. See you guys on our next video. Bye.